Hello, my name is Mike Martin. I'm a volunteer for Healthy Wyoming, the Healthy Wyoming Coalition. I'm a Wyoming native, a Rock Springs resident for 46 years, a UW graduate with a business major. My past includes an income tax practice, and I'm presently engaged in real estate investing and enjoying retirement. I've also served eight years on the United CST Committee, which I determined which area programs would be funded and how much they would receive. Our contributors were largely businesses that expected results and accountability for their donations. This experience has been helpful in evaluating expanded Medicaid. Packets are available, which include a letter of support of the passage of expanded Medicaid, a list of the members of the Wyoming Healthy Coalition, and information about expanded Medicaid. Before we go any further, how many of you are familiar Medicaid as it is now. Basic Medicaid is a joint federal state program, roughly half paid by the feds and half by the state. Wyoming Medicaid helps pay for certain health care services and is available to qualifying families, children, and individuals who are aged, blind, or disabled and live below the federal poverty level. It is based on households, size, and annual income. Federal poverty level is defined as one person with an income of 13,590, yearly income of $13,590 per three person household with an income of $23,000. These amounts increase with household size and are adjusted for inflation. Expanded Medicaid raises these limits to 138% of the basic poverty level. In Wyoming, there are about 25,000 adults that fall into this gap with no insurance. Approximately 19,000 of them are working. This is about one person in 24 statewide. The business community letter points out that Wyoming hospitals are eating at least $100 million in bad debts. Memorial Hospital share is roughly a million dollars a month. According to Tammy, Tammy Lowe, CEO, CFO, these costs are passed on to the consumer. Costs of health care and insurance premiums rise. Wyoming now has one of the highest insurance costs in the country. Expanded Medicaid could buffer the increases and could lower insurance premiums. Why now? The federal government is offering a $54 million incentive over and above the normal 90% that they pay. If Wyoming adapts expanded Medicaid now, if Wyoming adopts expanded Medicaid now, consider the signing bonus. The $54 million would pay 10% or 10% for the next two years and put about $34 million in general funds to the general funds. Beyond the incentive period, the feds would pay 90% and the state 10%. The multiplier effect of the 90% has more than offset the 10% portion of the state's pay, percent portion of the state's pay that have already expanded Medicaid. This frees money that could be used for spent at local businesses. Since Medicaid has come into existence, federal funds have been paying 90% for states that wanted it. 38 states are now participating in the program. Wyoming tax dollars are pay, helping pay the 90% with expanded Medicaid in those states. It would be great if some of our federal money would come back to Wyoming for our benefit. The uninsured often do not seek medical help until they are extremely ill. The result is more absenteeism at work. Sometimes it results even in disability or even premature death. Ensure them and we have a healthier, more productive, more dependable workforce. Memorial Hospital CEO Irene Richardson said that the biggest savings to hospitals would be having more people insured so they could seek medical care in a timely manner. This would result in fewer hospital visits and admissions. Expanded Medicaid could reduce hospital write-offs, 
lower health costs, and insurance premiums. It would help us to have a healthier workforce. It would be a stimulus to the state's economy. Is it perfect? No. But after 10 years of considering other solutions, our legislature has not come up with anything better. A new poll by the American Cancer Society states that 66% of the people in Wyoming favor the expansion. Expanded Medicaid is the most cost-effective way to provide insurance to those who cannot afford marketplace insurance. For these reasons, I'm asking you to sign on to the letter asking our legislatures to pass Medicaid expansion in 2022. Please join us in supporting Expanded Medicaid. If you support Medicaid expansion, use the form. Please use the form and add your name that will be distributed to all Wyoming state legislatures in advance of the 2022 session. Go to https colon forward slash forward slash vit.ly forward slash m-e-d-i-c-a-i-d-b-i-z. This letter will also be available to sign at the Chamber Office. Contact information, Mike Martin, 307-371-2156. Don't hesitate to contact me. More information can be found at healthywyoming.org.